What's up, y'all? It's your boy Marcel Pete Black checking in. Uh, today's one song, Wednesday's record, is Principles of Standards from me and M. Slay Goes 2019 for the Culture EP. Let's not waste no time. Let's get into it. Here, Pop. Uh, this for all the real MCs. For the love of the culture. We put culture over everything. If you're over vocal rapper, yo, uh, it's the microphone checker. Scrap with a heckler for the heckler's on the record. Word perspective when I'm rapping on the record. Snatch your necklace, leave your headless, now your necklace. All that tough talk is spread, better get it. Cause this is hip hop, don't give a fuck about the street credit. If you can't rock a crowd, then forget it. Slender in the guy MC, you're gonna regret it, don't confuse it with you. Local ass, rapping over vocal ass Something like you ballin' but you broke Fake vocal ass, you don't need no beef outside of rap Veggie tofu ass, I suggest you get that shit on wax With your vocal ass You can't rhyme, so you hide behind your gimmick All the lies that you rhyme, whole time you really timid Step up your bar, stop worrying about your image Cause don't nobody wanna hear that bullshit you spit I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are I'm concerned what kind of man you are What's your principles are stand I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are I'm not concerned what kind of man you are. What's your principles and stand? I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are. I'm not concerned what kind of man you are. What's your principles and stand? I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are. I'm not concerned what kind of man you are. What's your principles and stand? This all, this all. Yeah, I talk it and I back it up. Laughing at these rappers, getting mad, dog. You act as fuck. I pay my dues, but on the stage and in the booth. That odd mo' nigga kicking Jigga City blues. Now rappers back as I wrote Jigga City blues. Cause I ain't never popped a pill or bought a pistol on a nigga Ain't never made a record for the club streets of women Make sure I put the culture first in every single lyric, huh? When everybody wanted to be retarded I still taught on my deed with empowerment and knowledge With the substance over slag consciousness over cash But I ain't doing shit for free if you want me to have a bag Credit the lane just by being myself By sticking to the culture, never selling out for wealth The youngest call me OGs cause I open doors for others I'm the God MC and I love it but the fuck I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are I'm concerned what kind of man you are What's your principles and stand I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are I'm concerned what kind of man you are What's your principles and stand I'm not concerned what kind of brand you are I'm concerned what kind of man you are What's your principles and stand I'm concerned what kind of brand you are now do me a favor, repeat after me, now let me hear you say, real MCs don't grab over vocals, now say, real MCs don't grab over vocals, now say, real MCs don't grab over vocals, and I'm the underground king, bitch, don't ever call me local, Ugh. and yeah, so, um, that's Principles and Standards produced by M. Slago. You know what I'm saying? From the 2000, March 2019 for the Culture EP. Um, how this EP came about is I was working on Black Messiah. And, uh, you know, I was kind of missing some boom bap. So I made a call looking for producers who did boom bap type stuff. And my partner, Jay Lewis out of Dallas, he tagged uh, M. Slago. Now, I met M. Slago back in 2011, the first time I did. Or 2011 or 2012, I can't remember. But it was one of the times I did the Elements Fest up in Dallas or whatever. He's a he's a producer and he's a radio host or whatever. And uh, I introduced I met him through uh, Truth Universal, and I went and did a uh, I went and did a um, interview at you know what I'm saying on his show or whatever up in Dallas. And honestly, and you know we we, not, we never worked on any music. We stayed cool. You know what I'm saying? He played my music a little bit, but like I don't know. I guess I kind of got away from doing more of the boom bap type stuff. And he's a boom bap guy. And, you know, just, you know, with wives and kids and family and music and stuff like that, we just kind of fell out of contact. So, Jay Lewis tagged him in the post, and Slago was like, I've been waiting to work for it with you. I'm like, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? So, I was really happy about that. And so, like, we started chopping it up. And, like, at the time, man, so, like, for, so the EP for the culture, it was, you know, you know, I'm a boom bap, boom bap backpack guy at heart, but I'm a southerner. So, you know what I'm saying? And I like the street stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, conjure rap for gang members. So, probably since 2013, I hadn't really done a whole lot of boom bap stuff. You know what I'm saying? Trap pop, you know, Cry Freedom was country rap tunes, and Seven was what it was. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, the progressive hardcore stuff or whatever. So, but at the time, like, 
you know, I guess around this time, you know, 2018, 2017, I'm really first started to embark on touring the country. And I'm outside of the South. So I'm outside of where country rap tunes and gangster stuff is everything. I'm, I'm in New England. I'm in the Midwest. I'm on the Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just inspired by the super duper underground hip hop DIY scene. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, part of what makes me different is the fact that I'm a backpacker. And you know what I'm saying? But I'm also country. And I'm a conscious rapper. And I'm also gangster. And I always stand out wherever I go. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't help but notice that like certain people felt that some of my stuff was a little bit too slow, like doing like Cry Freedom and Stand Whisper. And so I wanted to do a project kind of getting back to the boom bap, you know what I'm saying, for the for the true heads or whatever, who, you know, don't feel like having to check through all their subgenres and stuff, you know what I'm saying, to get to what they want to get to. So I was inspired by doing that and I just fell in love with hip hop again. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do it for the culture. I just wanted to rap about rap and how much I love hip hop and whatever. So Principles of Standards actually was the last beat that I actually wrote to and actually chose for the record. He sent me seven beats and I picked four. And uh, it was the last one because, you know, it was like the, the loop he had on there. And I just wouldn't, it, it didn't move me as much. And then like one day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just, I think I came back from a show and I seen some weak ass over vocal rappers or whatever. And I just wanted to get up on my MC shit, talk a little shit, you know what I'm saying? Something that, you know, you heard on Angry Black Raps, but I'm not really known for being no shit talker as a rapper. And I just kind of want to get at some people and also tell my story. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's about principles or standards or standards of principles, who I am as a man, you know what I'm saying, as it pertains to hip hop. Like, to me, I pledge allegiance to the culture of hip hop. I don't, all the other cap shit and all the other stuff, I don't care about none of that, man. I care about hip hop. Now, I care about monetizing my craft, but I care about rocking the show and being a dope MC, which a lot of what Red Rover is about. You know what I'm saying? So it's about who I am as a man and what I am, how principled I am, and, you know, my standards as an MC. You know what I'm saying? And just somebody who's just a lover and participant and p person who constantly, you know, every single day is chasing the high, engaging the culture of hip hop or what have you. And, uh, you know, so this song kind of coincided with the Red Rover movement, the Red Rover campaign. And, like, Principles of Standards is almost like the unofficial, what well, damn near is the official song of the Red Rover campaign, the Real MCs Don't Rap Over Vocals. So it's so funny, like, everywhere I go, I do that chant, and sometimes there are over vocal rappers in the crowd. Most of the time, they come tell me, man, I ain't never rapping over vocals again. Or I've had people apologize to me for rapping over vocals. Sometimes they get mad, but I don't care. Because you can get this work. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can get these bars too if you really want to do it. And we can go outside and have a fist fight. You know what I mean? If, if you really feel that play or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? For the most part, like it's become, and it's, it's part of the reason why 2019 was so successful for me. Because the first quarter, first half of the year, I had, you know, this EP that was critically acclaimed. You know what I'm saying? Hip Hop DX. Uh, 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 just a whole bunch of different sites picked it up. Um, I actually shot a video for it in New York. That shit ain't never coming out because the nigga who shot it, he's acting like a hoe about it. I don't know. I mean, you know, he just stopped responding or whatever. So it ain't never coming out, so whatever. But I, and I'm probably still going to do a video for it because it's one of my biggest records, still one of my most high stream records or whatever. And uh, so, yeah, this, this and then piggybacking with Black Messiah in May 2019 really, really important for me. You know what I'm saying? So big shout-out to M. Slago. You know what I'm saying? Big shout-out to... Uh, Everybody that supported, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people saying that they was happy to hear me get back to the boom bap. That's why I gave you angry black raps or whatever. But you know, man, just having fun with hip hop and in the culture. Um, real quick, go to monsterpeoplelike.bandcamp.com. I got the new EP, Angry Black Raps, you know what I'm saying? Four tracks or whatever, uh, produced by EF Cutton, Caesar, Shawty Banks, and what have you. Mix and mastered by um, Fifth Child, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, came, it's come out less than a month ago. It's doing really, really, really well. So y'all make sure that y'all go check that out. I got mad merch. I got physical CDs. I got face masks. I got t-shirts. Support independent hip-hop artists. You know, it's hard out here without us touring. So that's the right reason why these One Song Wednesdays is good for me. Because it lets me rap at least once a week. You know what I'm saying? So when it's time for me to really get back in shape and, you know, get on the road, whenever it's going to be, I ain't too rusty. But yeah. MarcelPBlack.com, MarcelPBlack.bandcap.com. Um, you can watch this on MarcelPBlack.com and YouTube as well. Maroon Music One, YouTube. I love my hobby, freedom.